Look in that camera or in that one. Hi, I'm Elon from Keytech Industries. Today, we will show how you can recycle plastic waste into new 3D printing filament. We will use about three kilos of failed prints from our Jarvis Winder development. We kind of needed a lot of prototypes. The problem is the printability. For example, all our prints with filament from bottle caps were quite unsuccessful because HDPE has a poor bed and layer adhesion which was the case for a few types of PP as well. PLA, Acer, ABS and PETG work great. But there's a lot more to experiment with and other materials too. Check out our academy where we upload our case studies. In this video, we will work our way through the process of the four main steps, shredding, drying, extruding and winding. First, you will have to shred the material. We use our Jarvis Shredder. If you don't have a shredder in your garage, you can check out the precious plastic map if there's a workspace in your area. Alternatively, you can build your own or try some budget method like a hand crank shredder or a document shredder or the scissors blender combo. The only important thing is that you keep your granulate size fairly consistent. Different granule sizes will deliver different extrusion outputs, which can cause your filament diameter to go out of spec. Obviously, with a Java shredder, your granulate will always be perfect. Before extrusion, you have to make sure that your material is properly dried. If you don't dry your granulate, you will have bubbles in your filament and an inconsistent diameter, especially when working with hygroscopic plastics. There are different methods that you can use to achieve dry material an oven, a dehydrator, or in our case, a self-built dry box. Watch our video up here so you can learn how you can build one yourself. Let's get to the main step, extruding. Obviously, you will need an extruder. You can build one yourself using the precious plastic blueprints or buy one online. Check out our comparison list of different extruders here to find the right model for you. Soon, we will also release our own Jarvis extruder. This here is my 6th generation extruder and throughout the development I've learned that these three things are especially important. Firstly, the compression screw. I started off with a wood drill but it's definitely not the best tool to achieve a consistent diameter because it doesn't build up enough pressure. Secondly, having precise temperature measurements and control is key. Here I've got three heating elements which I'm controlling with PID controllers. The third thing that I found useful is to have the nozzles easily exchangeable. Basically, I have this aluminium cap here into which I can screw bronze nozzles with different diameters. Now we have hot filament coming out of the extruder. We need to get it cooled and spooled. Do we really want to say that? Uh... You can cool the filament using water or air. I'd recommend using an air cooling system because water cooling is a complicated mess and as long as you are making less than 3 kilograms an hour, an air cooling system works just fine. Here I have our Jarvis air path where I can control these fans precisely in order to harden the filament but keep it soft enough to easily wind it onto spools. You know that you've hit the sweet spot when the filament tracks slightly stick to each other. This will ensure the most convenient winding experience. Let's move to the last step. We will wind our extruded filament with a Jarvis winder. Firstly, calibrate the filament Ferrari to the spool width. Insert the filament into the puller and roughly match the puller speed to your extrusion speed. Use a caliper to measure the filament and fine tune the speed setting. As soon as you're comfortable with the diameter, thread the filament through the filament Ferrari and into the spool. Press start spooling and the spool motor will automatically adjust its speed to keep the filament on tension. This was how you can make your own filament from failed 3D prints. Make sure to follow us on social media to not miss fantastic content and exclusive behind the scenes clips we post every couple days. Stay up to date on our progress and updates and enjoy funny videos.